This is going to be a BIOS video for the PowerSpec 1720. I made it a separate video because some people will care only about this part of the PowerSpec and other people will only care about actually using it. So I was like, I'll just separate them. Um, let's see. This is the main display. You've got your SATA control, your NVMe control here. Uh, system time, system date. You can scroll down and it shows like all of my serial numbers and stuff, but whatever. Um, this is your advanced menu here. You can run the SATA in different modes. You can power on boot. I don't know why you would want it to beep at you all the time, but apparently that's a feature. When it boots up, it can beep at you. Um, <laughs> it has this really cool feature for the for the battery of the laptop. It's called Flexi Charger. And instead of the battery being constantly charged up to 100% and just sitting at 100% while it's plugged in, like what most people who, who game at a desk use, like if you don't travel with your laptop and it just sits at a desk and it's plugged in, it's always sitting at 100%. And it's actually pretty bad for the battery. So what Flexi Charger does is it lets you set the drain minimum and the drain maximum for the charger. So I've got it set to 50 and 80. So below 50%, like if I run the battery to like 30% or even like 49%, it says, hey, it's time to charge back up. And then it says, hey, how much, how far do you want to charge up? Do you want to go to 100? And I'm like, no, I don't need it to sit at 100 all the time. I'll, I'll, I'll stop it at 80. So when it hits below 50, it starts to charge. And when it hits 80, it stops. And right now it's plugged into the wall, but the LED status is green because it's it's sitting at 80% and it's not going to charge anymore. Uh, and you can ch you can turn this off if you want to go travel with the laptop and you do want it at 100%. Uh, but I, I have it on because I use it like a desktop, and it's honestly a really good good feature to save the battery from unnecessary uh, use and, and dis you know drain. <clears throat> It's got a muxillary switch, which basically means you can switch between using the Intel graphics and the 2070, or just the 2070, which is discrete mode, and that's the mode I have it set in right now. Uh, GPU performance scaling is just enabled or disabled, and that's basically uh, video card overclocking. You can turn it on or off, have it on. Intel speed shift for Intel speed shift, I'm not going to explain that on this video. Virtualization, you can turn on or off. You can have fast boot on or off. Uh, you can have software guard extension if you are like using that. I don't actually know what it is. It's disabled for me. <laughs> um, those, those are all like kind of the basic features there. The really nice one is right here, overclocking performance menu. And it gives you memory overclocking. So right now, I have my memory overclocked. It, it's it's two 16 gigabyte sticks of PC2666, but it's actually running uh, PC3000 speeds. Um, it, it's stock uh, cast latency of 19, and right now I've got it at 18, so you can, you can tune up the timings just a little bit. Uh, I want to go higher with this t Refi, but right now it's stable, and I don't want an in unstable computer because I've been gaming a lot, so I've just left it alone. And you can even change the voltage, 1.2 stock volts, uh, and you can go up to 1.35, uh, which is what I have it set up right now. So yeah, you can change your memory reference clock, your multiplier, your quick clock odd, odd ratio, like everything is adjustable as far as timings go, which is really nice to see in a laptop BIOS. I haven't seen that in, I don't think I've ever seen another laptop that had this, but I honestly haven't owned that many like higher performance laptops either. So decent, decent adjustability. There's, you can set up a password. You can change your boot settings, and I don't know, we'll quite know what this network stack is, but it has different support for like uh, booting over LAN, I think. Uh, and then it'll do optimal defaults, I think. Oh, I think that just means like default settings, but uh, no. <laughs> you can you can always go back to default settings and start over, just like any BIOS. Uh, I've just been pretty happy with the overall performance of of the laptop and then the included BIOS was really nice to see actual memory overclocking that, that worked. So yeah, there's a, a quick little quick little preview of the PowerSpec 1720 BIOS.